Hey guys, we got a Facebook message from Miss Howard out at Ned Rose. She teaches the math class out there. Um, they've been watching some of the videos and had some questions. Um, so we're going to try to get those answered. First question they had was, what is the typical down payment? Um, I'd say on average, uh, people are using the FHA loan, 3.5% down. Um, so I, I would use that as a general rule of thumb is 3.5% down. Uh, on top of that, um, it can vary. Uh, different loan programs, uh, different stuff like that. Uh, require different down payments, but I would use 3.5% uh, as your general rule of thumb. Brings us to our next question. Are there uh, programs for first time home buyers? Yes, there are. Uh, Bank of North Dakota has different programs from time to time. These programs um, are down payment assistance programs. Uh, usually fall along the criteria that you have to be in a house for so long uh, after you use the program and it's prorated for the forgiveness. It's like after uh, 78 years, usually it's, it's completely forgiven. So there are some um, first time home buyer programs through the Bank of North Dakota and, and a mortgage lender would have a lot of that information as they're changing from time to time. If you're thinking about buying a house or kind of what are the first steps in it, um, for most people it's kind of the same, would be uh, find your realtor, find your uh, mortgage lender um, right away. You usually can get a referral from a friend, family member, something like that. Uh, then you will go out, uh, get pre-approved uh, what you can afford, um, versus what you want to afford might be two different numbers. Um, so talk to the mortgage lender and then start looking at houses. Uh, sometimes this process takes six, eight, 12 months. It can take a while to find the right house, but uh, then you get out and just start looking at houses um, and be ready because the good ones sell fast. So um, have that pre-approval ready and, and just start looking at houses once you get that. Uh, another one is what is uh, the general dollar amount or, or price um, for uh, a first time home buyer, I guess that always varies. Depends on the buyer and stuff like that, but it all comes off your debt to income ratio. So that's gonna be when you get go get pre-approved, um, that goes along with your credit score. So it goes off your debt to income score, debt to income ratio and your credit score. So um, if you go out and have a car loan or a credit card debt, um, all that will go against you on, on what kind of house or, or how high um, you can be a pre-approved for. On the flip side, if you're using debt right, um, if, if you're making your car payments on time, if you're uh, using a credit card, paying off the balance every month, that helps you establish credit and that is great. I mean, that is one thing that credit is a huge part of everyone's lives and the earlier you can establish credit, um, the better off you will be. So credit's a good thing if you're using it right. Um, we could do a whole segment on credit and uh, how to establish credit, but uh, just make sure you're paying attention to it because it will be a big thing down the road. I guess uh, that kind of answers most of the questions you had for us. Um, one I wanted to throw in there would be if you're kind of if you if you want to buy a house or you're thinking about buying a house, you're also interested in investing. A lot of people um, aren't aware of it, but uh, some people call it house hacking, which this would be would be uh, buying an investment property with some of these. Um, programs it could be a one to four unit so you could buy a fourplex with that three and a half percent down live in one unit rent out the other three units so let's say you're uh, getting five hundred dollars a unit you get fifteen hundred dollars in and rent um, be living very uh, cheaply in that third unit and, and still getting equity and, and having investment property and getting started very young in, in investing so that is one option you could buy two uh, duplex triplex fourplex using all those same loan programs I talked about three and a half percent down and and it is a good option for for someone if they if maybe they don't want to uh, take on a house or, or get into investing um, it is a good option so thanks for the questions I'm glad you guys have been watching the videos if you do have any questions let us know thanks mm -hmm.